This piece of art was important because that's my father and that's my sister, his first child. Being an entrepreneur, being a professional athlete, doing anything that's never been done before, pushing past your limits, makes it really hard to have personal relationships. And so in this picture, I see two things. Number one, a father struggling to be the best athlete in the world, but also be a, the best dad in the world. Really hard. Number two, the softer side of fighters. What we find in MMA, jiu-jitsu, boxing, karate, some of the people at the top, the most dangerous feared people, are the sweetest, the kindest, the most humble that you'll ever meet in the world. I met Anderson Silva the other day amongst other athletes. They were all rude, the other athletes. He was the most polite guy and he was also the most accomplished. And to me, that, that picture tells the story of what it really means to be a fighter. What's up guys, my name is George Foreman III. I'm gonna give you a tour of Kraft Boxing Club. This is home base, this is the original. Let me show you around. So over the mountains, there, that's Malibu. Um, I chose this place so we could be connected with nature. So that's the outside. On the inside, this is a studio first. That was the main reason we opened this place in Calabasas. Number one, because we wanted to have access to some of the most interesting people in the world. Number two, we have to shoot content. Over 28 new workouts per month for all of, all of our trainers who are teaching crab boxing in gyms all over the States, all over Canada, and hopefully all over the world one day. So once again, this is a studio first to film new workouts and content for education and ongoing support for our licensees. Outside of that, we just tried to deliver a really cool boxing gym. So number one, had to have speed bags. Number two, gotta have refreshments. All that's included for the people that are part of the gym. Number three, uh, most people don't know this, but for boxing gyms, ping pong tables are a big part of training camp, always have been. I guess for the reflexes, great place to hang out. Four, over here we have a 20 foot competition size boxing ring. While we do have people spark, if they reach a the level where they're prepared to fight, 99% of our people come here to just engage in what it feels like to train like a real boxer. So in this ring, we're doing private training and we're doing small group training, which we call mitt work, which is six people to one trainer. And then over here, this is where the magic happens. Thank, thank God to escape. When we started Craft, we wanted to make sure that we created an, an environment for classes that was a fit for large format classes, small group training, five or six people, and also private training. And we wanted the experience to be modular. So we reached out to escape and said, Here's a sketch on like a sheet of paper and said, can you do this? And thank God they said yes. It was really important that the feet took uh, up uh, the least amount of real estate possible so that we have space for the classes. And number two, that they could hang and support heavy bags, that they support suspension, that we could anchor battle ropes, slip bags, all the core bags of a true boxing experience, and that we could cross train, being able to do pull-ups, and then as the demands of our membership advanced, that we would be able to use all the options for attachments on these posts. So thanks to Escape, we were able to make that happen. In this area, we do three types of classes. Number one, we have what we call our fundamentals class. In that class, you're gonna do shadow boxing in the mirror. You're gonna hit each one of these bags, one round, one round, one round, and then you're gonna sit at one of these three stations and do the battle rope or the deck or the Aerodyne or a combination of all three. That's fundamental. We have bag work where you're just gonna sit in front of this bag or this bag and you're gonna hit the bag, wail on it, get all your aggression out, work on your technique and do body weight exercises. We do that with 10 people to one trainer. Then we have body work where during body work in front of each bag, you have about an eight by three space where you can do anything. These just become stations to do mat work, floor work, could be Pilates, yoga movements, working with the kettlebell, resistance band. This is a station, this is a station, this is a station, this is a station. And this is a station we can run up to six people in this area without everybody feeling like they're on top of each other. So that's our body work class. So we have bag work, body work, and fundamentals. For this facility in particular, we wanted to focus on quality, not quantity. So in this space, we can run a 30 to 40 person class, but we chose to limit our class size to 15 because sticking with our brand, craft, small batch boxing, one person at a time. Once again, it's not about how many people we can train, it's about how many quality experiences we can have with individuals. Over here, this is our open gym. Number one, we wanted to make sure for the people that enjoy boxing, but also want to make sure they're strengthening the bodies in other ways, that they wouldn't have to leave their community, they wouldn't have to leave their safe space, so they feel comfortable in order to do those things. So this is our open gym. We have treadmills, stairmasters, rowers, etc. And then of course, for all of our strength and conditioning equipment, we have escape decks and so on and so forth. We do run classes in this area. One, the first class I'll talk about is road work. On road work, you're gonna run on the treadmill for six minutes, hop off, you could jog, you could walk, 
do strength and conditioning exercises or core exercises on the floor. That is a 10-person class. We also have a 15-person class where you're gonna hit the rower, hit the treadmill, and you're gonna do strength and conditioning on the floor. And that's all the classes we run in this area. Other than that, it's for private training, small group training, and a place where members can train on their own. This area is another studio space. Of course, we have more escape equipment <laughs> over here. Thank you guys for everything. 33% of our people that uh, go to the gym engage in private training. So this is another private training spot. And this is our retail area. Staff hangs out, people buy things. It is okay, keep eating your food. We are hanging out, say hi everybody. Hey. We have the best staff in the business. Another thing that was important to us was artwork. So we came up with these custom concepts to everything we put up is cryptic. So if you understand Boston culture, you understand what this means. If you don't, you can ask a question. And that's the beginning of engaging in where all this comes from. So we have Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Packets, Smoking Joe Frazier, that was his nickname. We don't smoke cigarettes. Money Mayweather, because he knew what it was all about. He was the last of the great prize fighters. And then his trainer, which is Roger Mayweather, that was his saying that most people don't know. And when they ask what that means, I say, who are those people on the wall? Found a great local artist to create that. One of the most important things when we were creating the weight room was how do we maximize space and be as efficient as possible? This frame back here that we got from Escape um, has been super helpful because once again, we only have 6,000 square feet. Space is a premium, but we need to be able to do cross cable work, work on with the dumbbell, kettlebells. We need power racks. People need to do pull-ups. And once again, we need pieces that allow us to do multiple things. Um, but that also that are quality. One of the promises at Kraft was that not only are we gonna focus on one person at a time, and we're gonna focus on lots of personal attention, but everything you touch is going to be the best that we can get our hands on and the best that we can afford. And Escape has the best stuff. Lastly, in terms of art, um, we have this mural up here. Took a lot of time and a lot of fumes <laughs> from spray paint, um, but it was important to us because um, aesthetics, um, how everything is uh, visually pleasing, how it smells, how it feels. I think all create a cool environment that makes you want to show up and be a part of some, you know, training, which is hard. So that's it. That's our club. That's what it's all about. Boxing is what we do. We see it as a platform just to have a conversation with people to hopefully improve, improve their lives. I know if you're holding gloves, you can't be on your phone. If you're getting a good workout, you're less likely to engage in your vices. And if you're part of a community, you're more likely to stay positive. And that's what crab boxing is all about, just supporting people and using boxing as that platform. Thank you.